Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a um, consultant cardiologist in New York. And today I wanted to do a, a little video on a simple exercise that you can use to reduce your ectopics. Now, um, I started doing videos on palpitations um, about a year and a half ago. Um, I got a lot of people write to me and say, you know, they were helpful. And uh, as a consequence, I've become friends with a lot of people who suffer from ectopics. Um, and uh, a lot of people have become friends on my Facebook account. Uh, I've joined some Facebook forums. And I am um, awestruck at the number of people who suffer from ectopics and how badly these ectopics can affect their lives. Uh, and whilst it's one thing telling people, oh, don't worry about them, they're not dangerous, um, you know, that's easy for me to do. I've never had the ectopics, and consequently, I can't possibly even begin to imagine how scary they must feel. So whilst as a doctor, I know they're not dangerous, and I like to reassure patients, and sometimes I tell them to take magnesium, which seems to help the frequency, uh, it always saddens me when I see one of my friends um, write on Facebook and say, oh, you know, I'm having ectopics, I'm panicking, I don't know what to do. And I've been racking my brains and I've been saying, well, is there something that has been proven to be effective um, that people can do when they have their ectopics in the hope that that ectopic frequency gets less and puts the patient's um, mind at rest. So I did a lot of research and luckily, I found a very interesting paper. And I want to talk you through it if my computer would work. Excellent. Okay, so I was looking through the literature and I found this interesting paper in the International Journal of Cardiology. And this was published in 2006. And uh, the lead author is called Bala Chander and he um, is in Pondicherry in India. And what they did was um, they found that a simple breathing exercise, sorry, um, they incidentally found that a simple breathing exercise had abolished ectopics in an 18-year-old girl who had a lot of ectopics and was having anxiety and palpitations. So they decided to do a study, okay? And they took 10 consecutive patients and all these patients, the age ranged from, I think, um, 15 years to 70 years. They were men and women. And um, all these 10 patients had more than 10 ectopics per minute. And these ectopics were unifocal ectopics, okay? Um, and so what they did was they prescribed a simple breathing exercise. Now, let me just talk you through what happens when we breathe. We normally breathe around about 12 or 15 times a minute, okay? And what these guys did was they said to these patients that for at least five consecutive minutes, what you need to do is slow your breathing down. So instead of breathing at, you know, 12 to 15 beats, uh, breaths per minute, you need to lower it down to six breaths per minute, okay? So you're taking one full breath every 10 seconds. You're taking five seconds to breathe in and five seconds to breathe out. So you, and out, and you take five seconds. And that's a long time, you know, so you have to consciously make an effort to do that. And um, you need to do that for at least five consecutive minutes, okay? And what they did was they measured how many ectopics people were getting beforehand and they measured how many ectopics they were getting during the deep breathing okay um, and what they found was that in during the deep breathing in five out of ten of those patients the ectopics went down by 50 percent okay so i'm just going to read out um, what happened so patient number one was an 18 year old girl and when um, uh, they did her ectopic frequency when she was breathing normally, she had 36 ectopics per minute. And when she started doing the deep breathing, they fell to zero ectopics per minute. The second patient was a 35-year-old female. She had 24 um, 
ectopics during normal breathing per minute and it fell down to 12 ectopics. And the third patient was a 70 year old male and he had 10 ectopics um, uh, during normal breathing and it fell to eight during deep uh, breathing at six breaths a minute. The fourth patient was a 30 year old female and she had 35 ectopics, which fell to 30. Uh, the fifth patient was a 55 year old male from 38 to 30. Um, another patient, female 74, from 36 to zero. Um, another patient was a 60 year old male from 34 to 20. Another patient was a 20 year old male, 11 to two. Uh, the uh, next patient was um, an 18 year old male, from 34 to 30, and the final patient was a 15-year-old male, and his uh, ectopic frequency fell from 20 to six. And we know it's just that exercise that's doing it because when they start breathing normally again, they start getting more ectopy. Um, now, I don't know whether this will necessarily work for everyone, but it's certainly worth trying. Slowing your breath down, and I don't know why it works, okay? So I'm just, um, I'm just trying to find ways <laughs> in which I can uh, identify things that seem to work. So it's well worth trying. If you're stuck in the middle of the night, you're getting ectopics and you're getting worried about it, why not give it a go? Uh, slow your breathing down, take deep breaths in. Ideally, take deep breaths in through your nose. Okay, take five seconds to breathe in, five seconds to breathe out. Do it for five consecutive minutes and that will hopefully reduce your ectopics allowing you to calm down because what actually happens is when you're getting the ectopics you start noticing them uh, you start getting anxious we hyperventilate we take shallower breaths uh, and if you can make this conscious effort to do this exercise maybe it will work and if it works then maybe it'll calm you down and if it calms you down you feel better and it gives you a bit more control you know you know that okay this is what i can do to make it better so i hope this helps what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this paper on my facebook page all right so i would encourage you all um, if you're interested in the subject to read it um, uh, to see for yourself but uh, you know um i i am reassured by the fact that this was actually published uh, so it will have some kind of scientific validity okay so i hope you found this useful um, now let me just tell you how to get to my facebook page my facebook page is your cardiology at gmail.com um, uh, my website is your cardiology.co.uk and uh, this is me sanjay gupta so um uh, I would love to find out from you whether this works for you uh, uh, because I don't know whether it'll work or not. All I can do is find the, you know, the data and try and uh, present it to you. Um, but if it works, please do let me know. If it doesn't work, please let me know as well. Um, and um, you know, I, I dearly, dearly uh, love the family of friends I have now. I, you know, um, on my Facebook page, I love you guys. I think I think it's been wonderful um, for me. I've learned so much from all of you. I've made some great friends, and I've had some great support. And um, I, some of my Facebook friends will know what I'm talking about. Um, but you've been very kind in the last few days. Thank you so much, and um, have a good night.